Jack here, JBF Music and Guitar Lessons. In this quick guitar tricks, we're looking at seven slightly obscure things you can do with pinch harmonics. Hopefully, at least one of them will be new to you. The upward pinch harmonic. This might take a little bit of getting used to, but it can really free up your phrasing because the pinches don't have to be on a downstroke. I'm using pretty much the same approach as with regular pinching, using the flesh of my thumb, touching the string just after the initial pick attack. Alternate pinching. So now we can up pinch as well as down, we could alternate pinch. What makes this a bit more interesting is if you do some trem pinching. So the difference there is what I'm kind of doing is just resting on the flesh of my thumb over where I think the harmonic is and picking almost at a 90 degree angle so I get more consistency with both the up and the down strokes. Pinch arpeggios. So as you may already know, you can get different pitches of pinches on the same string. It's a bit of a tongue twister. And what I'm doing here is using it to get arpeggios. So what I'd recommend doing is using the pickups and the pickup poles as a kind of place marker for where the different harmonics occur until it becomes a little bit more intuitive. Harmonic filter sweep style pick attack. So this is a really cool one I've used for years. If you've got a simple melody and want to make it a bit more interesting, just go for various pinches while playing it. If you're familiar with Dan's music, that's why I've called this filter sweep, because it kind of has this almost filter sweep style effect over the top of it. It just makes a simple melody line like that one I had a bit more interesting to listen to. Obviously not usable all the time, but it's a really good tool to have in the bag. The sweep pick, pinch harmonic. So when you use that much harmonic attack, you get something that resembles an old SNES cartridge rather than a guitar. You can do a much more subtle approach like Frank Gambale, a link in the top right there which is a much more kind of musical way of using it. I thought I'd just do an over the top one uh, for entertainment value more than anything else. When you're doing these, depending on the shape that you're picking over, you might want to imitate it slightly. So I'm basically trying to move this sort of shape here, but on a much reduced scale because the notes are closer together. It's just like how the frets get smaller. If you imagine the frets continued on here and imagine the harmonics are there, they get closer and closer together the further you get up. So this, you kind of want to slightly imitate the shape and pick along it with this hand to get the harmonics to ring out the best that you can. So very similar to this is the idea of pinch chords. So it's the same idea essentially, but instead of uh, cutting off the notes, I'm just letting them ring into each other. A great example of this would be Joe Satriani's uh, Satch Boogie, where he does that kind of descending thing. I've also got a slight example of this in a lesson I've done with the Satch for Gene trick, so you can check that out there if you want to. Harmonized harmonic pinches. So you can get two guitars to play the same fret, but pinch a different harmonic and get harmony from it. Something like this. Or super secret bonus tip, the only one of this lesson I'm afraid, combine some ideas. So let's do two guitars, but harmonize the pinches using the arpeggio technique. For example, some other ideas you could combine. Let's look at that kind of filter sweep thing we did and the trem pinching. Okay, well those are my seven slightly obscure pinch harmonic techniques. Do you guys know any other cool ones? Please do let me know. Anyway, this has been Quick Tricks, that's the playlist up there. Please do consider to subscribe, comment, like, share, enable notifications with a little bell on the side if you feel so inclined. Cheers guys.